Renault has made some huge leaps in quality with its cars over recent years, and the new Megane is probably its best built model yet. Now, if you follow me into the front, you'll see it all feels very well screwed together and it's got a nice solid sound to it as well. If you look up here, the dash is a nice soft touch material, feels quite upmarket, and it's very easy to get comfy because I've got height adjustment there on the driver's seat. And there's also, of course, reach and rake adjustment to the steering wheel. And I have to say, the driving position does feel nice and sporty. If you look here, we've got a sat-nav system, and that's standard on the top two specification cars. Now, that's made by TomTom, Tom, which means it's actually very good because we've got full postcode entry, and there's also speed camera warnings, although the <coughs> alert might get on your nerves after a while. Anyway, let's move on to practicality. So if you follow me around to the back, we'll go and check out the boot. Now, it's fair old size, and it's relatively square shaped, means it's extremely usable. On the Megane, unlike with some of its rivals, you can actually fold the seat bases forward, which means that when you put the seat backs down, they go almost completely flat, which makes a car pretty handy for carrying larger objects. The Megane handles reasonably well, I mean, there's loads of reassuring grip and there's hardly any body roll through the corners. And the reason for that is the suspension is quite firm. Although don't worry, the car is still comfortable. However, not everything about this Renault is good. It does, of course, have some bad points. I'm going to start off having a moan about the fact you get a little bit of wind whistle off the windscreen at motorway speeds, which can be a bit annoying. So too can the fact that there's not many useful cubby spaces. For instance, there's only one cup holder and it's in an awkward space. And if you choose to put your drink in the side door bin there, because of the shape of it, when you accelerate, it can topple over, spilling drink everywhere. And then there's the glove box, which looks massive on the outside, but if you open it, you'll see it's actually rather tiny. Now, I'm going to show you another problem. Right, if I just shuffle over here, be able to show you that knee room and headroom is a little bit limited. I mean, I'm five foot ten. If I was over six foot, I'd really struggle, which means that the Megane isn't as good for carrying adults in the back as, say, a Ford Focus. And the downsides, I mean, you could say that the styling doesn't really stand out from the crowd, especially when you compare it next to a Honda Civic. Then there is the matter of depreciation because the Megane will not hold its value as well as a VW Golf. But then the Renault doesn't cost as much in the first place, is extremely well equipped and very cheap to run.